so I guess it's time to finally get into the Mar-a-Lago stuff. I've been waiting for more information to come out on this because I didn't want to just say, hey, by the way, the FBI went to Mar-a-Lago and they went to Trump's estate and they, they did things. They went to a safe and they grabbed some documents because that's not really an interesting episode. It's nothing but speculation. And I don't want to do that. I'm not a big fan of speculation. Um, I'm okay with speculation when it comes to video games, but not so much when it comes to stuff like this. So, let's get in the fan art section, and then we will go and do our deep dive into everything we can find where the Mar-a-Lago situation is concerned up to this point. is from Kira Sakura. Behold a Surus roll, because I did in fact Rick roll the entirety of chat uh, about a week or two ago. And then uh, in, in retaliation, uh, apparently porn was drawn of me. That was That is a weird way to retaliate for Rick rolling people, but I, I guess it's a thing that happens. The next one we have is from Shiz uh, Shizrui, or Shizryu. Continuing my tendency to draw based on anime, and this time Neko Slime Sirs has become Okabe from Steins Gate, because chat was debating the best sodas, and we all know the right answer is Dr. Pepper. You know, if you say Diet Dr. Pepper, I will agree with you. Uh, also, couldn't help adding the war words onto, the, onto his infamous phrase. Diet Dr. Pepper is the intellectual drink of the chosen ones. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway... Anyway, the next one we have is from Jet. Figured out what was wrong with my tablet, so here is the cleaner, work in progress, and eventually there will be color. So, I... Wait, does it literally say what Sonic can teach us about socialism? Oh, no. Oh, dear, there's actually a little slime service there. Is that... Okay, that's not a blizzy, but it almost looks like it's blizzy. Almost. As always, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, the best way to do so is to drop it into the fan art section of the Discord. With that said, if you haven't subscribed, hit the like button or the bell notification icon already. Maybe consider doing all those things or even checking out the Patreon where you can get access to behind the scenes content on what's going on. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into some of the... Uh, insane reactions that have happened in regards to Mar-a-Lago, and then we'll get into some of the nitty-gritty about the event itself, what's going on there. Uh, Red Joker, thank you for redeeming your points for what I'm going to try to ignore for as long as I can until my morals tell me that no, no, actually, you earned those points despite me wanting to throttle you now. <sighs> Fine. Red Joker, thank you for redeeming your points for... Ooh. I just... I need, I need those shields back. I need those shields back. I do. So let's go ahead and begin with a, a little nugget of gold. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, rep of my district, I oppose the BLM slash Antifa defund the police act that turns police officers into targets for radical left-wing Democrat te uh, domestic terrorists. We must hashtag back the blue. Now, what would, I, what would happen if I told you that um, in just a little bit of time after that, we would get defund the FBI, Marjorie Taylor Greene? Would, would you be surprised? Would you just accept that we live in that timeline now where this is normal? Can I just say... I'm no fan of a lot of the shit the FBI has done. I'm not. If you look into the things the FBI has done in regards to, like, Martin Luther King, uh, the Black Panther movement, etc., you're going to find a lot of really, really dark things that they did to destabilize minority communities. But they are also one of the only investigative... Uh, they're also one of the biggest investigative agencies we have in the United States. With that evil comes a decent bit of good. The statistics that they have are invaluable to research. Defunding them isn't going to do a whole lot of good. You would need to replace them with something else, and 
I don't think that you want to replace the FBI with Marjorie Taylor Greene's version of a Federal Bureau of Investigation, personally. But what about other people we've covered on the channel before? There's, of course, Marjorie Taylor Greene, but, you know, we've talked about Greg Locke before. I'm sure he's got some words to Mar -Lago. say. I'm sure he's got some words to say about what's gone on at Mar-a-Lago. Let's hear, let, let, let's hear what he's got. What we saw in Mar-a-Lago yesterday, I'm here to tell you, was an absolute criminal act. The FBI is going to go to Mar-a-Lago, going to take siege to President Donald Trump's personal home, which I've been there. It's a beautiful place. But they won't even investigate Hunter Biden's laptop. I've seen what's on that laptop. It is nightmarish. It is evil, wicked, pedophilia. Wait, hold on. So you've seen what's on Hunter Biden's laptop, but you need the FBI to see it too. Are you sure the FBI hasn't seen Hunter Biden's laptop? Uh, Greg, Greggy Poo, Greg, Greg Locke, Greg dude. Greg who almost drove his partner to doing terrible things to themselves. Greg, I just have to ask, why is it that when the FBI is doing something to someone you don't like, uh, you're super thrilled about it, but when they do something to somebody you like, uh, it's it's really bad. It's automatically bad. Perjury Taylor Green is an insult to st uh, to stains. Is an insult to stains on humanity. Jesus, thank you for the five hundred bits. Cursed pause. What do you mean? This is blessed. This is the this is the face of a Greg Locke who's trying to down a healthy banana. You don't want him to have his potassium. You don't want the the delicious potassium to slide into his throat. Why would you not want that? Godless. I mean, things that will, will absolutely keep you up at night. And you're going to tell me that they won't investigate that? This is a prophetic warning. They are coming for our churches. They are coming for our businesses. They're coming for our children already in the public school. They're coming for us. They're not going to investigate them. They're going to investigate us. And I say bring it on. Bring it on, Scooby-Doo. Bring it on, Big Shot, because I have nothing to hide and I'm not going to stop. You'll chop my head off before I quit talking about this stuff, and my lips are going to move for 35 minutes after you do that. I'm telling you, to God be the glory. I'm so, first of all, actually a fungus. Thank you for redeeming your points for an ada ada. You fucking degen. But also, another thing to note, something a little important. Do you hear the Christian persecution complex coming through? He desperately needs to be the victim so much. His narrative shifts from the FBI shouldn't be doing this to I welcome the FBI doing this because if I am made the FBI's bitch, then I will get off. I'm not giving in. Enough with this insurrection January 6th nonsense. I was there, it wasn't an insurrection. Nancy Pelosi needs to be in prison tonight before this live feed video ends. I'm telling you, it's the facts, ladies and gentlemen. They don't intimidate me. They don't scare me. Do you hear me, Left? You don't scare me. You Marxist, demon-possessed mongrels. So, um... <laughs> Greg, Greg Locke, are you sure? Because you don't sound like somebody who's uh, not threatened. You sound like somebody panicking. You sound like somebody who is trying their damnedest to posture because you've been backed into a corner. Except nobody gives a shit about you, Greg. I'm sorry. The FBI is probably not going to be investigating you unless, of course, you uh, took some secret uh, nuclear documents from the White House and took them home to your estate. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. Spoilers. Can't talk about that yet. We've got more... MAGA reactions to get to before we get to any of that. I believe that God gave us another chance to rally again against the dark forces of an evil Biden empire. Wherever you are hiding, Barack Obama, we see your hands behind it all. But I want you to know something. The very gallows you have built for our president, watch out, sir. Watch out, sir. There's going to be a day of vengeance by God Almighty, not by me and not by men, but by God Almighty. I... So, I... <sighs> This was Pastor Shane Vaughn um, 
a person who's blaming Barack Obama for the search at Mar-a-Lago, warning that um, Obama will be punished for it. I wasn't aware that in 2022, thanks Obama, was still going to be such a prevalent meme. But apparently, it is. Said it's so cute seeing them play pretend. Yeah, I know, right? Isn't it hilarious? Watching them freak the fuck out about what's going on at Mar-a-Lago. And then... You wonder, you wonder, does any of this really affect them? Why are they so up Trump's ass that any of this matters? I don't know. Barack Obama being a second term president broke the people's brains. Oh no, he looks black and he managed to get elected twice. Oh God. The world is coming to an end. We got to pretend he's a Muslim. And yet it just, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. But let's go ahead and talk about what actually happened. Let's get some information out there. Um, because we've got, we got some stuff to talk about. Obviously. Said, uh, he literally said about my head, dark hands now. That's not racist. I think he meant dark as in evil, not dark as in he's black. After all, don't shoot. Ah, we're not going to do that. I want to do the Dragon Ball Super meme because it's fucking funny. But at the same time, it, it's funny because it's because it's really dicey. So like Biden isn't the best president we've had, but I noticed a lack of weekly scandals about him. I know, right? All right. So. This was released first by WAPO. FBI searched Trump's home to look for nuclear documents and other items. Classified documents relating to nuclear weapons were among the items FBI agents sought in search of former President Donald Trump's Florida residence on Monday, according to people familiar with the investigation. Experts in classified information said the unusual search underscores a deep concern among government officials about the types of information they thought could be located at Trump's Mar-a-Lago club and potentially in danger of falling into the wrong hands. I wonder why a former president would take nuclear documents. A former president who had a bad habit of uh, shouldering up to North Korea and Putin and pretty much every other nasty politician he could, why would a person like that try to sneak out classified nuclear documents? Why would you do that? Hmm. Awkward. The people who described some of the material that agents were seeking spoke on the condition of anonymity to discuss an ongoing investigation. They did not offer additional details about what type of information the agents were seeking, including whether it involved weapons belonging to the United States or some other nation. Nor did they say if such documents were recovered as part of a search. A Trump spokesman did not respond for a request to comment. The Justice Department and FBI declined to comment. Attorney General G uh, Merrick Garland said Thursday that he could not discuss the investigation, but in an unusual public statement at the Justice Department, he announced that he had personally authorized the decision to seek court permission for the search warrant. Garland spoke moments after Justice Department lawyers filed a motion seeking to unseal the search warrant in the case, noting that Trump had publicly revealed the search shortly after it happened. The public's clear and powerful interest in understanding what occurred under these circumstances weighs heavily in favor of unsealing, the motion said. That said, the former president should have an opportunity to respond to this motion and lodge objections, including with regards to any legitimate privacy interests or the potential for, another in, uh, for other injury if these materials are made public. Franklin says not to blow my load too early, but the top secret documents cannot, uh, he had cannot even be talked about outside of a custom-made wiretap proof room where the person is put on a limited list of those allowed to view the documents. How the absolute fuck Trump was able to get those docs to Florida is beyond me.
Late Thursday night, Trump said on social media that he agreed the document should be made public. In another post early Friday, he called the nuclear weapons issue a hoax and accused the FBI of planting evidence without offering information to indicate such a thing had ever happened. Trump said agents did not allow his lawyers to be present for the search, which is not unusual in a law enforcement operation, especially if it involves potentially classified items. A search of your house does not require a lawyer, Trump. A search of your house is not an interrogation of you. It literally can happen without your presence. Mexican Prime, thank you for redeeming your points for an owl. Owl. The Wall Street Journal reported Friday that the list of items seized by FBI agents during the search included 11 sets of classified documents. Four were marked top secret, three were secret, and three were identified as confidential. The lowest level of classified information. The journal reported that the inventory of what was taken also refers to a set of documents marked various classified TSSCI documents, a government label for more closely held forms of top secret information. Material about nuclear weapons is especially sensitive and usually restricted to a small number of government officials, experts said. Publicizing details about United States weapons could provide an intelligence roadmap to, ad uh, to adversaries seeking to build ways of countering those systems. And other countries might view exposing their nuclear secrets as a threat. One former Justice Department official who put in the uh, who in the past oversaw investigations of leaks of classified information said that the type of top secret information described by the people familiar with the probe would probably cause authorities to try to move quickly as possible to recover sensitive documents that could cause grave harm to United States security. They said if that's true, it would suggest that material residing unlawfully at Mar-a-Lago may have been classified at the highest classification level, said David Lofman, the former chief of justice of the Justice Department's counterintelligence section, which investigates leaked leaks of classified information. If the FBI and the Department of Justice believed there were top secret materials still at Mar-a-Lago, that would lend itself to greater hair on fire motivation to recover the material as quickly as possible. Now, it should be noted, uh, there's a thing that was said awkwardly uh, by, what was it, the, uh, the Heritage Foundation. One of the guys in charge of the Heritage Foundation tried to say that it was actually A-OK -okay for Trump to take classified documents back to his house, despite that being a giant security breach, because he, at one point uh, in his mind was the highest level of classification slash declassification criteria. But. But, but, but. Let's go ahead and continue further into the document. The Monday search of Trump's home by FBI agents has caused a political furor, with Trump and many of his Republican defenders accusing the FBI of acting out of politically motivated malice. Some have threatened the agency on social media. As Garland spoke Thursday, police in Ohio were engaged in a standoff with an armed man who allegedly tried to storm the Cincinnati office of the FBI. The man was then killed by the police later that day because negotiations had failed. State and federal officials declined to name the man or describe a potential motive. However, law enforcement, off, uh, law enforcement officials did identify him as Ricky Schiffer. According to another enforcement official, agents are investigating Schiffer's possible ties to extremist groups, including the Proud Boys, whose leaders are accused of helping launch the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Both officials spoke on the condition of anonymity to discuss an ongoing investigation. A person using Schiffer's name on Truth Social, Trump's social media website, posted a call to arms message shortly after Monday's FBI search became public. 
The message read, people, this is it. Leave work tomorrow as soon as the gun shop slash army navy store slash pawn shop opens. Get whatever you need to be ready for combat. We will not tolerate this one. They have been conditioning us to accept tyranny and think we can't do anything for two years. The time we must respond, this time, with force. The Washington Post could not confirm whether the account actually belonged to Schiffer. In his statement on Thursday, Garland defended FBI agents as dedicated patriotic public servants and that he would not stand by silently with their integrity being unfairly attacked. Every day they protect the American people from violent crime, terrorism, and other threats while safeguarding our civil rights. They do so at great personal risk. I'm honored to work alongside them. So basically, <clears throat> basically we have an extremist who goes onto the internet, potentially, trying to rile a bunch of people up about a need to screech, yell, holler, shoot, maim, kill, etc. in the name of America and patriotism. So Anons are having a field day with this. Of course they are. And then, after trying to throw up a stupor on social media, they then go and actually try to act out their LARP in real life, and then they meet the find out stage of fucking around. It was Garland's first public appearance or comment since agents executed the warrant on the Mar-a-Lago Club, taking about a dozen boxes of material after opening a safe and entering a padlocked storage area. The search was one of the most dramatic developments in a cascade of legal investigations of the former president, several of which appear to be growing in intensity. The investigation into the improper handling of documents began months ago, when the National Archives and Records Administration sought the return of material taken to Mar-a-Lago from the White House. Fifteen boxes of documents and items, some of them marked classified, were returned earlier this year. The Archives subsequently asked the Justice Department to investigate. Jesus fucking Christ. And then, of course... We get a little further on in the timeline. Said, man, do Trump supporters even uh, have the cardio to go to war? Jesus Christ. Jen Graven, or Gren, Gren Garavin, thank you very much for redeeming your points for an ada ada. You fucking D-Gen. In another article, agents at Trump's Mar-a-Lago seized 11 sets of classified documents. The FBI search of former Trump, uh, President Trump's Florida home earlier this week found four sets of top secret documents and seven other sets of less secret but still classified documents. The written inventory, a document provided by investigators after a search, said the FBI took about 20 boxes of items from the Mar-a-Lago club, including photo binders, information about the president of France, and a variety of classified uh, material. One of the documents we already read was a super secret compartmented bits of information. One of the more closely held forms of top secret information. The list doesn't further describe the subject matter of any of the classified documents. What we have here. Notice of filing of redacted documents. United States District Court for the Southern District of Florida search and seize warrant. So we've actually got like... An application of federal law, the Southern District of Florida. You are commanded to execute the warrant before August 19th. So don't mess with archivists, they're tenacious. Yep. They will find all the nasty shit you've ever done. The premise is to be searched. Uh, is further described as a resort club and residence located near the intersection of Southern Boulevard. All physical and documents, uh, all physical documents and records constituting evidence, contraband, fruits of crime, or other items illegally possessed in violation of 18 U.S.C., including the following: any physical documents with, with classification markings, information including communications of any form, any government or presidential records created between January 20th and January or January 20th, 2017, and 2021, any evidence of the knowing alteration, destruction, and concealment of any government and or presidential records. Then we have the actual description of the items themselves. Hold on. 
Executive grant of clemency for Roger Jason Stone Jr. Leatherbound box of documents. Potential presidential record. Binder of photos. Binder of photos. Handwritten note. Jesus Christ, why would you keep all this at your residence? T don't take your office work home. This is proof you should never take your office work home. Jesus fucking Christ. The warrant signed by a federal magistrate authorized FBI agents to search Trump's office in any storage rooms and all other rooms or areas within the premises used or available to be used by the former president and his staff in which boxes or documents could be stored, including all structures or buildings on the estate. Said any communications, that's a notable warrant. Yes, it is. The warrant said it is seeking all physical documents and record constituting evidence, contraband, future crime. We already read all that. It's it's just telling us the stuff we have already read. And all that's available public information. All of that can be found on the, uh, the document cloud over WAPO. Even a note scribbled on a napkin has to go into National Archives. Yep. <sighs> and Trump is saying that he will not oppose a release of the Mar-a-Lago warrants themselves, which, you know. This just digs you further. Trump saw National Treasure and thought it was real. So why, I, I just have to ask from a logical perspective, what benefit is there to taking those documents home? Is it, is it potentially that you need money from other leaders of other nations and this is your way of getting it or, or what? I, I don't know. This is the reason I didn't want to do a Mar-a-Lago episode until we had more info because now we're stuck in speculation territory. Now we're stuck not really being able to do a whole lot except think about why the documents were taken. Of course, that's not uh, that's not all we have to do. We can also have fun taking a look at some of the uh, fallout of the raid on Mar-a-Lago. The FBI has executed a search warrant at the home of former President Trump. Trump confirming the news in a statement saying Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida. With a growing number of Republicans speaking out against the raid. A bunch of communists and hypocrites trying to destroy this country, trying to destroy our freedom. It's not going to happen. They hate Trump so much that they'd rather destroy this country. Showing black people that stand up for Trump and the good stuff and the policies that we love. We're against Mitch McConnell, we're against Mitt Romney, we're against Pelosi. They're in bed with Ukraine, that's why. And they're all in bed together with George Soros, with Black Lives Matter, bullshit! Democrat Confederate rebel bastards from hell. The FBI messing with Trump for no reason when they're weaklings from Washington, D.C. They couldn't get none of the um, Miami or the Miramar FBI agents come out here, so they, they came out here with their weak ass uh, to try to intimidate Trump. I'm the Deerfield Beach Republican Club president. I know Donald Trump for over 30 years. I'm friends with Governor DeSantis, and I don't like what's going on in this country. It needs to be changed. Many years I don't like what's going on in this country. Vague platitude. It needs to be changed, but I will not describe in how. Shimo Kagami, thank you for redeeming your points for an Owl. So, can we talk about the brain worms? Can we talk about the, the prevalence of brain worms here? At Medical Cabinet says no one is friends with DeSantis. I'm sure DeSantis is great friends with his left hand. The right one he needs for the mouse. So, does the guy really know Trump for that many years? Who knows? Who knows? He saw him in Home Alone once. Probably. It's a weird day when you're seeing everybody come together to say the policies we love under Trump. Which policies did you love under Trump? This is a disagreement that I had with my grandma, of all people. She is a major Trump supporter. And I remember when there was a bit of a falling out that was had between us. I 
I'm trying to recall exactly how it happened so that I don't actually uh, misspeak, but or or straw man. But basically, when she started going, "We love Trump," I asked, "Why? Why do you love Trump? Can you explain it to me?" And she went, "I don't have to explain it to you." If you, if you don't have to explain it to me, if you can't explain it to me, then why? Do you have a reason why? And I know that that's probably not a, a conversation that's unique to me and my family. So I have to ask, why? Why do you people love Trump? He's not the same as you. He's just as corrupt a politician as everyone else. He was just a corrupt businessman first. But let's continue. Years ago, it was talked about that the FBI needs to be disbanded. It's an absolute necessity at this point in time. The FBI is crossing over the border. They're doing things that is illegal. We need to stand up for American rights and the law of America. We're losing our rights and our laws every day, every day. What rights do you think he's losing? I'm curious, what rights do you think he's losing? What rights do you think he thinks he's losing? I'm just curious. And yeah, crossing over the border? The FBI is crossing over the border? Are you mixing your anti-immigration talking points with your I need to save Donald Trump from the FBI talking points? Is he legit crying over this? Probably. Oh yeah, he can't get an abortion. That's the problem. He can't get an abortion. So, why? All I have with any of this footage is, is a giant why. They're just a bunch of Nazis and communists. My young bitch, communists fought Nazis. I hate to tell you this. I hate to explain world history to you. But if you want to call the USSR communist, then the communists fought Nazis. They're not the same thing. The National Socialist Party, responsible for the idea of privatization of industry within German borders, is the farthest thing from a nation that tries... Now, granted, the USSR is not a good example of this. But a nation that tries to become a stateless, classless, moneyless society. We have here the most hilarious of category errors. And we gotta get rid of all of them and get them back where they belong, in hell! Yeah, Soros is the most evil man on Earth. He hides in his little cave with little children to molest and sends out everybody, he pays everybody to rally. Most things. What? I need a source that George Soro has an army of people running around to get him children to molest. I need that. I, I, I need that. He said, hey, yo, Q is back. Yeah, basically. Things are an inside job, a false flag operation where somebody within the deep state is literally paying people, having agent provocateurs that are radicalized on SSRI drugs and being told what to do to, you know, bomb places and blow up cop cars and do this and that. All of these school shootings, uh, it's not what it seems. And the FBI lets it happen. And they do not want the citizens. Remember, these are not pundits. These are regular random ass people now. This is what conservative brain rot does to you. This is what QAnon brain rot does to you. Radicalized on SSRI drugs. Yeah, that was, um... <laughs> I'll take QAnon talking points for a thousand, Alex. But, oh, hey, the Jewish question dog was with the Soros reference. Yep. So the dude yelling about Soros had a voice like Alex Jones? No, he doesn't have the manly, uh, the, the girthiness of the voice of Alex. To this country to be armed with their own guns. They they stage these shootings. As soon as the shooting comes out, they want to take away your rice on a gold. They're the same people that tell you they care about you, how safe they want to be, and then they're the first ones to line up and tell you it's okay to have an abortion. Most liberal system, massive oh gays, massive amounts of abortion, and uh, the, everything's controlled by the police. Plant fake news 
and I know they'll do that because they did it against me. They did a, a fake, an actual real fake murder, a real one. We call the hospital, nobody knows who this guy is that supposedly died. And the guy didn't leave no blood in the backyard. I, was at, I wasn't even at my house when they say he got shot having a fight over a girl with another Latin kid. And then they use that as an excuse to come in and without a search warrant, search my whole house and take my watches. I have four Rolexes that they stole. What do you like most of they, they, Don't worry, guys. I had those Rolexes. They were stolen by the FBI. They were very important to the investigation on the real fake murder that definitely happened in my backyard in the hospital. I, I followed all that. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. It's about Biden. Nothing. We have an idiot in the White House. He's just a puppet. Bad person and probably worships the devil or something crazy like that and drinks blood. <laughs> oh my God. He, he probably worships the devil or something. I don't know. Probably drinks blood. Maybe. <laughs> what's to like about that man? He's dead. Why would I like that zombie? A president that has destroyed this country in every which way gas freedom <laughs> freedom of speech destruction uh, he destroyed the country with destruction he destroyed the country with destruction i like how what ways ma'am did biden destroy the country gas uh um Freedom of speech, which I'm using right now to explain the things I don't like about him. Um. Oh, God, there's got to be something else I love that he's definitely tainted. Holy shit. Um, let me think about it. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Violence. Destruction. I didn't expect to be put on the spot here. I just wanted to say the shit that I that I believed without any actual like backing evidence. I, I wanted that and needed that. But but holy shit. What have I done to myself? Violence, racist, division Is... in this country. What? Inflation. It... The border. The border. Murders. <laughs> what has Biden done? <laughs> the, the murders. He, the, he did the border, guys. He did the border. He did the border king. He went to the border king and he got himself a border. He's responsible for so many border. What is there to like about Biden and his administration? Nothing. Hunter, crackhead, Biden. Go back to your basement where you belong. What do you hate most about Biden? He's incompetent. He's elderly. He's incompetent. He, uh, he, he, Trump is just as elderly as Biden. Oh my fucking God. They're both old sacks of raisins. The go back to Ukraine comment. Yep. Let me list the bad things and blame them all on Biden. This is literally the thanks Obama mean, but like, you know, massively inflated. His incompetency is destroying America. China is taking over our country slowly but surely. If we don't do something today, like immediately, we are going to be taken over by China in a very short period of time. That's what I'm looking at in the future. We're going to be taken over by China, everybody. Uh, why, though? Is it What policies has Biden done that actually lead to that? This is the question to ask. Like, okay, I get that you feel that way, but how? Is there anything you like about Biden? I can't say a single thing. He's elderly. He's unfit for the job. There's nothing to like about him, honestly. He's not my president. I'm not, I can't respect him. We should all be in front of an FBI office today instead of standing here. We need to make a point to the world that will get national attention around the world that this will not be tolerated. We need to all get in front of the FBI office, block up the office with all our cars. This is what needs to be done. Not standing here. We're making a mistake. We need to be in front of every FBI office across America. So why aren't you there? Why aren't you doing that? Why are you here? You're literally sitting here saying, I'm making a mistake right now. This is the equivalent of not wearing a condom. You're in the middle of fucking your worst enemy. You know for a fact they're going to get pregnant with the, with something that you're going to have to deal with for 20 years. You're going, I'm making a mistake, but I guess it just feels good, so you're not going to do shit about it. 
The Democrats are all for abortion, killing babies, molesting babies, drinking their blood, same-sex marriages, destruction of family, destruction of the country. They're a bigger threat than Saddam Hussein. At least Saddam Hussein had the guts to try and send an army in. They're sneaky. They're evil. They're this just in, Democrats are worse than Saddam Hussein, because at least Saddam Hussein would have sent in an invading force to kill people in the States. Holy fucking shit! How? How are we here? How is this the timeline? Yeah, he said Saddam. Saddam Hussein. Holy shit fuck. Or the devil's son. What do you like most about Biden? <laughs> uh, that he's going to die pretty soon, I guess, if he's not already dead and they're just, you know, marching around a corpse like Weekend at Bernie's, I suppose. You want all these people to be gay and trans and everything so that they don't breed. You know, that you want them to, uh, you know... Uh, this just in, apparently trans people and gay people never breed, despite the breadth of information on ways that gays and trans people, you know, can breed. Mutilate their genitals so that way they can't have kids because... You don't want to have any more people in the U.S. What do you like? What? What? Trans people make up like 1% of the United States population. And you think that we're trying to make all the people trans so that they can't have babies. Oh my fucking God. The average conservative on the street. These are the people that get up and do the protest thing in in relate to Trump. In relation to Trump, why? Most about Trump. That he makes sure we get to be rich and make our own money. Be liberty or give you death. What would you tell? Tr what? 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 He likes that Trump makes him rich. That that's what he said. He likes that Trump makes him rich. Let's pretend that everybody here has a lot of money. They probably do. Who knows? Let's pretend they do for a moment. If the only reason that you like a president is that he makes you rich, he, get, he gets you lots of money, that's kind of a shitty reason. Just saying. Trump right now. I'll tell Trump, stand strong, and don't worry about the Ishmaelites, the Canaanites, the Edomites, the what? And the Hamites. Those are the Hicksos. Those are the weaklings. We're getting ready to finish whooping their ass. And, and the ones of them that don't repent, we're going to whoop their ass. They better join on to my side and help me whoop the nobles of them that have done this to us. What? Because Trump is King Cyrus. What? And he is the one that's going to overthrow all of those Hicksos. Okay? So you're going to try to do a January 6th again? That's what that sounds like. That's what that sounds like. What do you like most about Trump? He loves America. He loves people to be free, freedom of speech, and to make money. That's what America is all about. Freedom, love, happiness, and the pursuit of happiness. We love you, Donald Trump. We need you back. We money. need our country back. What do you we, did we get there again? It's, it's just money. What do you like most about Trump? At least Donald Trump has reality. He could see what's going on, and he tries to do the best he can for America, even with all the poison surrounding him. I've known Donald Trump personally for 30 years, and I'm going to tell you a story that almost nobody knows. Okay. I know for a fact his limousine broke down in New York City one time. A friend of mine drove by, stopped and changed the tire on his limousine. He stepped out, and he offered the driver a, a small amount of money. The driver said, no, I don't want your money. Donald Trump said, I need to give you something for what you've done for me. And the guy said, my wife's birthday is next week. Send her a dozen roses. Here's my address. End of discussion. When the roses arrive for his wife's birthday the following week, in the card, it says, I've just paid off your mortgage. That is who Donald Trump really is. And it won't get out in the news. Wow. And then everybody clapped? I'm sorry, what? Is there is there any evidence of that? I Because, like, again, big if true, right? Dude with a dude with two, three, four billion dollars to his name pays off a one, two, three hundred thousand dollar mortgage. Um, sure, that would be really cool if that happened. I would like some evidence that that happened. That sounds very much like a legend for Donald Trump. 
Yeah, that is a true story. Uh, why didn't they ever go into Bill Clinton's house? Uh, he was bringing in cocaine from South America into Arkansas. Supposedly 46 people affiliate him. They all committed suicide. But there's no nothing about that in the news. Supposedly Obama was from America, but he's really born in Africa, but nobody really wanted to investigate that. That the investigations of that did happen. Holy shit, no, we're done. We're done. We don't have to go much further. We don't have to go much further. We've we've done our job. We've seen the absolute ass crack of Trump supporters trying to justify this shit. Maybe we should just have a rule going forward. Don't don't take classified nuclear documents uh, from work home. Maybe don't do that. Probably a good idea. Can, can we all agree on that? Can, it, let me know in the comment section if we can agree on that, okay? Oh, okay. I, my brain hurts. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm, I'm going to go eat a sandwich. Insert in the video tagline here.